We've got a big update on the upcoming NFL 2K football video game. Now, we've been talking about this game for a year and a half now, and we've only gotten little bits of info about it, and it's been delayed already once. Well, now we finally have a new update, courtesy of Sports Gamers Online, who put out an update about this game a few days ago. We've got some news about release and development, and also some pretty good news in terms of gameplay that I think you guys will be interested in, so let's get into it. It says here, since it was announced back in 2020, fans have been eagerly awaiting any update on the return of NFL 2K from 2K Sports. While the series isn't going to be like the NFL 2K of old, EA Sports still holds the exclusive simulation rights, it's still expected to feature some elements that fans will like. Unfortunately though, it's been quiet on the development front. Originally, the game was planned for a 2021 launch only to be pushed back until 2022. Now, with no news and the 2022 NFL season right around the corner, there is concern that the wait will be even longer. Sources have told SGO that 2K Sports is working towards a likely 2023 release. However, a 2024 launch isn't being ruled out either. There is a lot going into this game and they want it to be done the right way, one source said. If that means a longer development time, then that's what they are willing to do. Now, I definitely believe this source because let's be honest, we've been talking about this for a few months now. The fact that we have not heard a single peep about this game, not even a teaser picture, a screenshot, a teaser clip, no trailer, no anything from 2K was leading me to believe that there's a chance it might not come out this year. However, with the NFL really wanting this arcade style game to get out and wanting more games out into the marketplace because they care so much about growing their brand brand and also attracting a younger audience which is one of the biggest reasons they made this deal with 2k i figured that they would have to find a way to get it out this year because i can't see the nfl being okay with continuing to wait for the game to release but it sounds like 2k said they don't care how long it takes they want the game to come out right which is a good thing we don't want a game coming out with problems like madden has for the past few years or like their current product nba 2k has for the past few years launching with a lot of bugs and a lot of things not working properly they know that this is their foot back in the door of NFL gaming and potentially their foot into the door of being able to make a sim game in the future perhaps knowing all that they don't want to release a product that is not as close to perfect as possible and I'm always a fan of waiting a little bit longer if it means a better product Continuing on here, it says, while there was some thought that the first 2K NFL game would be a part of the new LEGO collaboration, that isn't likely to be what fans get first. As far as the game will entail, SGO was told that the gameplay was being developed to go up to the line of what constitutes simulation versus non-simulation, even if its art style and player count isn't necessarily what you'd expect. Despite being arcade, this is still a true football game, one said. Now, this is really the biggest news of this article to me. None of us really want to hear that the game is further being pushed back because we want to get our hands on it. We want to play it. We haven't had anything different from Madden for so long now. We just want something new to try out, if nothing else. But the big thing here is them doing what a lot of fans speculated that they would, which was try to toe the line between simulation and arcade. Because at the end of the day, the reason people want 2K back is because of the the NFL 2K series. People don't necessarily want an NFL Blitz or an NFL Street. Not that that wouldn't be a fun game and not that it wouldn't have a place, but a lot of people want a game that can be more of a competitor to Madden. And if it's a true arcade style game, it won't be quite that. It'll be an option to play. It might be fun, but it won't be able to really directly compete with the simulation game. But to hear that they're doing what fans hoped they would do, which was kind of towing that line and getting as close to simulation as possible, that's actually big news. The fact that they said despite being arcade this is still a true football game that's what most fans are looking for a game that plays like true football a game that has good animation good physics the players are responsive there's good control in the game for the user that's what fans want now what's interesting here is if you go back to the very first article that was written by IGN when this deal between NFL and 2k was announced about a year and a half ago they said just this our goal is always authenticity depth and fun as it relates to these titles a approachable and social football experiences. We think this is a good opportunity to service a more casual market and our research shows that there's an appetite for that. And if you look at some other articles as well, they've been pretty consistent with saying that this game is going to deliver that same depth, authenticity, and quality that you've come to expect from 2K games over the years. 
Now, it's not going to be NFL 2K5 or All Pro Football 2K8 on that type of a simulation level, but they've also made it pretty clear that they're going to try to toe that simulation line as much as possible. So yes, they are going to be serving a more casual market because it's probably not going to be quite as in-depth as their heyday games, but that still doesn't mean that it can't perform like a true football game and have good user and good physics and just good football altogether. They've been pretty consistent with saying that that's what they want to deliver, even if it is technically an arcade game, they're going to try to get around it as much as they can and as much as the NFL is going to allow them to. Because at the end of the day, the NFL still has final say, and if they feel like the game is getting a little too close to simulation, they probably can kind of put a halt to that and make them make some changes, but I think they're going to find a pretty good common ground based on everything that they've said and everything that we've heard so far, which means we should still be getting a really good football game. Now, what's likely going to happen is it's not going to be 11 on 11. That's kind of one of the ways they can get around the gameplay being a little more simulation but the game not being technically labeled as simulation because in order for it to be true simulation it would have to be 11 on 11 but as we know arcade games are typically 7 on 7 or maybe 6 on 6 or it could even be 3 on 3 they'll probably wind up doing something like a 7 on 7 and that way it's not technically simulation but if it's 7 on 7 and the gameplay itself feels simulation a lot of fans will still enjoy playing that and the player models probably won't be completely accurate to like what a Madden has or what an NFL 2K5 has. The player models will probably be a little more over the top, maybe a little bulkier. They might be able to toe that line as well. The art style of the game will be arcade, but they can probably toe that line a bit as well. But as long as it's not 11 on 11, I think that might be somewhat of a loophole for them to make the game as close to simulation as possible while not being a true NFL sim, if that makes sense. The article finishes here saying, because of the nature of the development though, there are still changes to the game being made especially if certain aspects cross the line of what is deemed to be simulation so that kind of means that the nfl could step in at some point and say hey you're getting a little too close to simulation this isn't really quite the vision we had we need to we need to change some things up so we don't really know until it drops but to hear that their mindset is on making it as close to simulation as possible while still being an arcade game i think if they find that right balance and the game is fun if nothing else, it'll be another football game that people could have fun playing. And at the end of the day, that's what's important. The main thing here is the first game they drop absolutely has to be a banger. And to me, the obvious thing has always been to make another NFL street, but make it more realistic. Incorporate elements of the park from NBA 2K or the neighborhood. Make it an NFL street game that has a simulation type feel when you're actually on the field playing and incorporate some of those things that have worked so well in NBA 2K. If you can nail that, you have a game that it's fun to play a game that's rewarding and something that has been missing from the marketplace for a long time but it looks like the earliest we're possibly going to get this now is 2023 i hope we don't have to wait until 2024 but with the new college football game coming out next year that if nothing else will probably hold us over another year so it might not be the biggest deal in the world but we would obviously like this game to come out as soon as possible now, hey if you enjoyed this video check out this video right here on the screen you'll like this one as well